PBT is excited to present to you today a slightly different format. It's on popular demand and requests that we're going to target uh, an actual circuit PBT lesson today. I've chosen um, five exercises and what I'm suggesting is if you're going to take on PBT as a circuit, you just target two areas. Today I'm going to work on core and adage because we all know as teachers and students without a strong core, there's no control in adage. So we're going to do these five exercises with five young men. I wouldn't suggest you do this with the junior students at all. Um, so they need to be extremely focused to make sure the exercises are done correctly and slowly. So I'm going to demonstrate first the coaching and then with the five boys, we will present the full circuit. And now walk to the next station. Well done, everyone. Okay, come in and join me. So obviously the, the boys would go to the next station. They repeat it through, three times through. So they do each other's exercise and repeat it three times and then have a little rest in between. So after five exercises, they would have a drink and take a minute and then go through the reps three times. That will certainly enhance their core and their adage. Don't you think, guys? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> we've done really well this week. So let's talk about each exercise now. So starting with Ellis, because you were the first one, what do you think that's going to help in your classwork? Um, I feel that gets my abdominals working really well, which is important to have everything in the class become supported. Absolutely. Without abdominal work, we haven't got control of adage. Yeah? Okay. So what about you, Thomas, then? Yeah, um, I found it really helped um, keep my core really strong while my legs were moving around as well. And um, it also strengthened my obliques, which is good when you're having your leg to the side and to the back as well. And, and obliques help uh, Epplemon as yeah. well, yeah. What about the twist? Are you feeling your hamstrings yeah, at I all? Yeah, I really feel my adductors and my hamstrings in the twist. Excellent, excellent. And now that we've included the wrist weights over the last couple of weeks, uh, in pas de deux, are you feeling a benefit? Yes. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. I aim to please. <laughs> and now, Max, you were working on the weight placement and the adage. Yeah, I felt it really helped with adage work and it helped with the supporting leg, keeping that straight. Yeah, because you've got some hyperextension, so you've really got to be over the front of the foot. So that's, that's great. What about in the portobra hamstrings? Yes. Excellent, excellent. Now, Austin, come and tell me about your arabesque. What are you feeling? Um, I felt my upper and lower core activate for the pike. I also fell to my high... Glutes? Uh, Deep yeah. glutes? I felt my glutes. 
<laughs> Good, that's okay, that's important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I felt my rotator muscles in my upper leg. And yeah. Excellent, excellent. So we're going to have superb arabesques next Monday. Maybe. Yes? Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Lincoln. And your ikate. Yes, it helped my ikate. And it has got stronger in class. Yeah. Yeah, Definitely. yeah, excellent. What about that last section you're oh, feeling? Inner, inner thighs. Inner thighs, adductors. Yeah. Okay. So how fit are you after this? Yeah, excellent. Yeah, well, well done. Thank you for participating. So remember, though, I don't suggest you do this with little ones. They would have to be seniors and extremely focused. Um, but uh, if you enjoy it, let me know and we'll include some more circuit training. Thank you.